This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 9. The objective, find a fraction of a measurement and solve word problems. The standard, 5NF4A. This is Problem 1 from Homework. 1 fourth of a yard equals how many inches? Well, the first question we need to ask ourselves is which is larger, a yard or inches? Well, we know that a yard is larger. If we are going from our larger unit of measurement, which is a yard, to a smaller unit of measurement, which is inches, then we need to multiply. So keep that in mind for later. For next question we need to ask ourselves is how many inches are there in a yard? Well, we know that there are 36 inches in one yard. So we're going to need to find 1 fourth of 36. Now if we were going to be drawing a tape diagram, 36 is my whole number, and the denominator tells me that I need to partition my tape diagram into four equal units. And my numerator from previous lessons tells me how many I'm looking for. So in order to do 1 fourth of 36, we're going to go 1 fourth times 36 over 1. Now when I look at the 4 and the 36, I need to think about, can I cross simplify these? Is there a number that goes into both of these numbers? And the answer is yes, 4 goes into both of these numbers. 4 divided by 4 equals 1, and 36 divided by 4 equals 9. I'm going to multiply across. 1 times 9 equals 9. 1 times 1 equals 1. 9 over 1 equals 9. So I just want to make sure and check, because now I know that 9 is 1 fourth of 36. But I just want to be sure, so I'm going to put 9 in each unit of my tape diagram. And now I'm going to add them up and see if they total 36. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. And 27 plus 9 is 36. So that does make sense. Let's try another one. 1 sixth of a foot equals how many inches? Again, we need to ask ourselves, which is larger, a foot or inches? Well, we know that a foot is larger than inches. So again, if we're going from a larger unit, which is a foot, to a smaller unit of measurement, which is inches, then we need to multiply. The next question we need to ask ourselves is how many inches are there in a foot? Well, we know that there are 12 inches in a foot. So we need to find 1 sixth of 12. Again, if I drew a tape diagram, I have my whole number of 12 and I have to partition my tape diagram into six equal units. My numerator, which is one, tells me how many units I'm looking for. So let's work out the problem. One sixth times 12 over one. Now I need to ask myself, can I cross simplify? Is there a number that goes into both six and 12? And the answer is yes, six. Six divided by six is one. 12 divided by 6 is 2. I'm going to multiply across. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 over 1 equals 2. So I'm going to put 2 inside my unit. Now I'm going to put 2 in each unit to make sure that my answer is correct. That 1 sixth of a foot equals 2 inches. So let's see. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, and 10 plus 2 equals our whole number of 12. So this also makes sense.